Hi, and welcome to a special edition of Around the Net. I'm Nicole Scott, and I am here at IDF Beijing 2011. And this is the show where we're seeing Cedar Trail, lots of Oak Trail tablets, lots of new mobile computing news, and because it's uh, netbooks and tablets galore here, I thought I would talk to Joanna Stern because I know that she loves netbooks just as much as I do. Joanna, how are you? Good. I'm very, I'm very good. good. I don't know, I don't know if, if I, I love it as much, much as you, you do. You seem, you seem to be really, really happy, happy there. there. <laughs> Well, it is bright and early, first thing in the morning here. <laughs> That's true. It's literally, what is it, 10, 15 a.m. there, right? And it's 10, 15 p.m. in New York. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it's raining uh, tablets there. Not actually raining. Is it sunny yet or raining? Right? Yeah, it's actually, like, blistering hot here. It's, like, 30 degrees and sunny. And you pretty much nailed it. It's totally raining Oak Trail tablets here. Um, this is the first time I've ever got to spend any significant amount of time with these tablets. And, um, like, when I finally got them in my hands, I didn't realize how thick they were going to be. I mean, most of them are coming out around a, a, a centimeter thick or over 10, 10, mil, 10 millimeters. Some of them are around 14. And, um, yeah, so they're, they're, they're actually a lot thicker than I thought. Yeah. Well, all the ones you're seeing, they're running Windows 7, right? Or for the most part? Yeah, no, there, there actually is one running Android. It's like Echo, oh, oh, it's some sort of like weird Chinese brand. Yeah, no, it's, it's not the XOPC. And uh, there's also the uh, Evolve 3. It's got a triple boot, um, Windows, Mego, and um, Android. And uh, actually, there is the WeTab on display, still the only shipping Mego product on the market. Okay. So the, so the Oak Trail tablets, tablets are a little bit thick, thick and, and they, they sort of, I mean, I, mean, I, know, I know some of them, of them are fanless, fanless or the, 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 the chip, chip is fanless, fanless but, but I mean, could, it could it be that, that because, because, like, like are, are they, they hard, hard drives, drives in there, in there? because, because they're, they're running, running Windows, Windows 7? 7? No, no, they're, they're, all running, um, they're all running SSDs. Um, but what I did notice is, like, they're, they all have vents. All the Oak Trail tablets have vents. Some of them are trying to make them kind of, like, stylistic, where they're putting the um, the holes, like, in where the speakers are. Um, there, there's there's even one that has, like, um, all across the top and all across the bottom. It has intake and outtake vents. And, um, yeah, they're, there's, they all have vents. Every single Oak Trail tablet has a vent. And I guess it's just it's just because of the heat issues. Right. So, so I, guess I guess that's, that's a whole other thing, thing that, like, like, Intel didn't really, really consider, consider with, with yeah, but for them needing all that venting, like they weren't as warm to the touch as I guess I thought they would be. Like when I was waiting my turn, um, like I saw all these guys like putting them really through the paces, like, you know, a full HD music browsing like crazy. And like when I got my hands on it, I was like, oh, well, it could be worse. Yeah. yeah. And then their eyes are sweaty, sweaty hands. hands. They're, they're probably, probably nervous. nervous. They're all, They're all nervous, nervous for the, for the new, new Intel, Intel tablet, tablet so. so. Yeah, even more nervous that I'm the only foreign girl here. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And three of the other ones are Intel ex executives that are on stage. Um, so your general attitude towards the Oak Trail tablets there have been, eh? Yeah, meh. I, I'm, I'm so so on the, on the Oak Trail tablets. I mean, they're all 10 inches. They're all, they're all a little bit thick. Um, we do still don't know about battery life. I mean, but I guess the the one thing yesterday that I was really impressed by was the um, the Mego tablets that they were that they were showing off um, for the applications and stuff. So like I'd never seen this tablet before. It was like some no name kind of it's a little bit plasticky, a little bit cheap. But I mean, I'd never seen the build before. It was super super light, um, and the PRC specific Mego skin that was on it, I thought was really Im I was I was I was pretty impressed by it. It was kind of sleek and. You know, it was it was looking really, really good. So I guess that that was kind of the most impressive thing that that, that I've seen so far. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was an interesting, interesting like, like sort of, sort of interface. interface. Definitely, definitely, I thought, I thought a bit a different, different and, and maybe a little, little bit nicer, nicer in, terms in terms of like, like sort of eye candy, candy than what we saw from, from Intel's, Intel's interface, interface at, at Mobile World Congress. Congress. Um, yeah, like you and I both got the same spiel at uh, NWC, how they were going to be reorganizing data and they were going to like have the X and Y infinite access where you could go either way. And like you could still go like X and Y infinitely, but like with the idea that you could add panels and but everything just seemed a little more compressed because it and a little, just a little sleeker. The, 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 the whole UI just seems a little sexier. Right, this, this is, is like, like sort of like, like a banner, banner right? right? Like, like, sort of like, like, it's sort of like a, a, a ribbon, ribbon that looks, that looks like, like it's like it folded, folded and unfolded, right? right? And, and um, 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I sort, sort of like, like sort of like, like a carousel. A carousel. Um, um, but, but there was there definitely, definitely a lot of similarities in UI to Android. Android, Android I felt. Like, like there was sort of like, like this app drawer area you got, you got into, into and, and a lot. It was, it was all, in all in Chinese, Chinese too, too, so that, so that was, was a little, a little bit hard, hard to understand. understand. So what do you think about the new UI? Do you think that Migo actually might have a chance to hang on something like I don't know Android? I mean, you know, you know if, you if you ask me at Moral Congress, Congress, I would say, you know, they, they were, were so, so far behind, behind. And, and obviously, obviously Moral Congress, Congress, Congress was only two months ago, ago so, so I can't, I can't really, really imagine how much, how much you know, work, you work Intel's put, put into, into it. it. At, at least the UI, the UI I, felt like I felt like I saw there, there, was, there was really, really still, still in alpha, alpha and, uh, and uh, just totally not even, not even I'm, I'm really, really not sure they were showing it to press, to be honest. But, I mean, you know some more about what's going on with the App Store, right? So, so and I, I think, think that's, that's a major, major piece, piece, right? So, so, so for, for this, for this platform, platform to take off, off it, definitely it definitely has, has to have a sort of nice, nice look and feel of the general, general UI, UI but the apps, apps are, are a serious, 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 serious question. question. And, and I know, they, know they've, at, at Moral Congress, Congress they have this app, app day. day, right? Yeah, absolutely. Intel's totally looking for apps. And I think that's why the deal with Tencent is uh, is pretty significant. Yeah, yeah. Not, not the wrapper. 50 cent. You know, you I, know think I think if Intel, Intel partnered, partnered with 50 cent, cent on Migo, Migo, it would probably have, have a little, little bit more. more I don't know. I don't, don't want yeah. yeah. A little a more street, street cred. cred. That's, that's, that could be it. it. Uh, uh, but. <laughs> Well, don't forget that Intel's already teamed up with Will I Am, and I'm still actually waiting for my my new remix of the Intel bum 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 ringtone. <laughs> Well, if 50 Cent and Will I Am team up, you know, and, then, and then Intel's, Intel's going to have to do a whole new commercial. commercial. That's, that's not like, like these, these are rock stars, stars these, these are rap stars. stars. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I, I, you mentioned Tencent before, 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 and, and before, before we, got we got on this podcast, podcast also, also, I have, I have no, no idea what Tencent, what Tencent is. is. Can, you Can you explain, explain it to me again? again? Yeah, so, so Tencent is actually an internet service provider here in China. Um, they have the largest free uh, chat. So they have like, uh, it's called QQ, uh, and it's like the MSN. They have their QQ Games, uh, which is a portal for online gaming. Um, and they're moving aggressively with Intel. They've already, like their the partnership isn't new. Um, they've been together since April of 2010, and they've already got 60 engineers. And they've actually launched an innovation center in Shanghai. And by the year's end, they're meant to be ramping up to 100 engineers. Years. And like the kind of exciting thing is, is that they've committed to building games on Migo for Oak Trail. So you know they're 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 really planning on bringing this to market. And like their their news from their their news from last month is. Um, that they're looking at getting into the search game. So if they were to actually, you know, succeed and and, and bring it to their their installed user base, it would make them number two to Baidu. Baidu, I've heard ten cent, not so much. So, so that's a big partnership for Intel, for Intel in, China. in China. It sounds, it sounds like, like um, and, and a, good a good adoption of, of, of Migo, Migo in a very, in a very sort, of, sort of in a big, in a big market, market, but, but still, still just, just one, one market. market. It's true. It's just one market. But the thing about Android in China. Is that it's not like it's not as hot as as everywhere else because marketplace doesn't really have that much of a foothold here and there's a big third party um, store presence here like that's where all the malware is coming from uh, the third party stores here so um, like we're seeing a lot of like the the cheap phones coming out with Android and they're all like the older versions and a lot of the newer software isn't being supported so the fragmentation issue actually is a, a little more of an issue here um, like in the in the Tencent press conference yesterday the guy actually oh the, the translator actually said you know Android's a bloody mess I mean that's like <laughs> Now I'm, now just, I'm just picturing this guy, this guy rapping, rapping about, about how, how Android, Android is a bloody, is a bloody mess. mess. Um, um, but I saw your article, article and I saw that quote, and that's kind of insane. insane. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, perfect. perfect. That's, I guess, that's, I guess exactly that's exactly what, what uh, Intel, uh, Intel needs, needs their, their, their partner saying. saying. Um, um, but Intel's but not going to find, find a lot of partners, partners uh, uh, at least at least top, top consumer, consumer manufacturer partners, partners that are going to say Android, Android, Android is a mess right, mess right now. Oh, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, excited I'm excited to see, to see sort of what sort of companies, companies are able to do with, with Migo as a platform yeah, and how they can develop, develop stuff. stuff. I actually have actually the XOPC here, the Migo XOPC layer, and I haven't taken that out of the box, but I kind of want to play around with that and see what's going on with that. But, but yeah, I think yeah, it would be interesting to see what people can do with it as a platform, and then hopefully, you know, with an app sort of store unveiling, maybe that'll happen at Computex. I have no idea, idea. but uh, uh, that'll give some more leverage to to the operating system. Yeah, so Migo in China definitely something to keep an eye on. So actually, the the last thing that we have to talk about is Cedar Trail. 